What is going on everybody, my name is Ness and welcome to episode 11 of my road to Cristiano Ronaldo And uh, before we get into the video though boys, I'd like to thank you for smashing over 600 likes on the previous episode And if you guys can go for another 500 likes on this video, I'll be giving away, I'll be giving away another 50,000 ultimate team points on the, on the Xbox or the Playstation, all you gotta do is drop a like on the video And answer the following question in the comment section down below Who is gonna win the Ballon d'Or? Because FIFA brought out the official list of the Ballon d'Or uh, candidates and one of them is gonna get the Ballon d'Or, basically the best player of 2014. And who is gonna be, uh, well, who's gonna win the Ballon d'Or, you think? Anyways, that's not what you came for boys, you guys came for trading and um, before you get into the actual trading, uh, I just wanted to say that um, I did some mass bidding or some mass bidding uh, while I was playing on my main account and it is a very easy and effective technique because I went up like 80k just because of, because of this technique but uh, recording this, well, it's gonna be a tough time because you won't win, win like many many players and you do sell a lot of players and you do bid on a lot of players and just the recording process was gonna take way too long so I'm just showing you some players that I did sell. Um, I basically aim for good gold players between 5 and 10k like David Luiz, Lacazette, um, uh, Walker, Mangala and so on and so on. Players like that, just popular players who get binned easily. And I made some easy, easy, easy coins from that. And uh, basically, what I did after was go into the market and obviously look for more trades. And uh, that is exactly what I did. I didn't find uh, any particular amazing deals, but some of them are okay. So I picked up five players. I picked up uh, Tai Taibo for 9,000 coins. Um, Maxi Gradel, the left winger in the League One, who was very good on FIFA 13 uh, for 6,000 coins. Um, I picked up uh, two informs, a Moy Gomez and an inform Ekdal. One, uh, one got picked up for 23,000 coins and the Ekdal got picked up for 34,000 uh, coins. And I'm looking to make a 4 to 6k profit of, uh, of uh, both of these informs. And last but not least we picked up a Gabi Akbon for 52,000 coins. Which uh, which we can sell on for around 60,000 coins and that is exactly what we did ladies and gentlemen Because as you can see on the screen we end up with 916,000 ultimate team coins We uh, sold our Moy Gomez for 26,750 coins Our Inform Ekdal for 39,750 coins Then we sold our Akbon for 59,500 coins I was gonna say 59,750 but yeah 59,500 coins and last but not least, we sold uh, Gradel and Taibo. Uh, Gradel went for 8,500 and Taibo went for 10,750 boys. So boys, we made a decent profit overall. I think we made just over 100k in one episode, mainly because of NAS bidding. Uh, I think you guys know how NAS bidding works. It is just very, a very chill out technique for me. It's not the most effective one, but it is a very chill out one. So boys. Anyways, that's gonna be the end of the episode, ladies and gentlemen. I hope you guys did enjoy this video. Make sure you drop a like if you did 500 likes to go for the 50,000 point giveaway. Subscribe if you haven't already. And without any further ado, ladies and gentlemen, I'll talk to you boys all next time. Peace out.